Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is our lesson 5 on Tricentis Tasca. So in this YouTube session, I'm going to cover the concepts. How do we create test steps? And how can we use the modules that we have created in the earlier session lesson 4 to create the test steps? Please refer uh, my YouTube previous YouTube session which is lesson 4 so that you can understand more on this lesson 5. Please do subscribe to my channel and click on bell icon so that you receive notifications whenever I post more videos on Tricentis Tosca. In my previous YouTube session which is lesson 4 I have explained you how to add controls of your system under test application in the form of modules and also how can we create a test case structure right so now as we create a test case structure so let me just go back to tosca tool so this is the test case structure that we have created in my previous video session okay so now we are going to learn how to add test steps for this particular test case structure okay for that first let me just copy verification shopping price copy the folder and paste that folder in test case one and rename this as open open and close shopping cart shopping web shop okay so now so as we already have entire test case structure here so now we'll see how to add test tips for that we have another tab here called modules just drag and drop that modules to the right side of the window okay and then minimize the properties and now so this side you have a test cases and this side you have modules correct so now how to add test cases there are test steps so two different procedures i'm going to show you how to add the test steps here okay so first as a precondition first what we are going to do we are going to open the url for demo web shop correct so now for that my precondition is opening the application so in tricent is tasca there are some so in the web shop we already added all the con modules that are required for the scenario right earlier okay so now in tricentis task call so there is a tricentis standard module which contains lot of operations that you can perform on different applications so these are all the predefined operations provided by the tricentis task call right so for opening the application you should go to tbox exchanges and then you, you have to expand HTML and you have to identify the open URL module and you are going to drag and drop that particular open URL module to the precondition folder of your test case. Right? Done. And now you need to specify what URL you would like to open here. Okay? So I'm just going to copy and paste the URL and click enter. Okay. So that means I'm trying to open a URL web shop. Okay. This is one way of adding a test step to your test case structure. So there is another way. Let me delete this test step. So there is another way where you need to click on a folder where you would like to add the test steps. Right. And then click on search and add test step and now you need to type in your 
test step name that you would like to add or you need to type in the module name that you would like to add okay and then click on okay so this is one way where you can add the modules by searching the sorry you can add the test steps by searching the modules and the previous way is we are dragging and dropping the module to the test case structure okay so here again i'm going to paste the url here this is done so and now what is our post condition close the browser so for that either you can go to tbox automation tool right and then you need to expand basically this is your operation where you can you can use this particular module where you can close the browser okay tbox window operation either you can drag and drop that module here or you just right click here and click on search and add the step option and then you just need to type in windows so this operation okay i can select this operation here so both the ways you can add so i have added the close t box windows operation so what is our caption here the caption of your browser so whenever i open the web shop the caption will be demo web shop okay sometimes if you navigate to something else it will be like demo web shop shopping cart if you go to login demo web shop login so now i would like to use a wild card here demo star okay this is my caption and what is the operation i want to perform here i would like to perform a windows operation called close okay that is done so this way you need you can add the test steps by using the modules that you have created or the controls that you already added okay so now you understand how to add the test steps by using modules okay so following are the key points that we learned what is test step in tosca the individually defined step of the test sequence and how to create a test step using drag and drop of the module so first what we do we locate the necessary module in the module section and then you need to drag and drop it into the appropriate test step folder to create a test step and then you can rename the test step so what is the next key point how to create a test step using add test step function so what is our first step the first step is you have to identify the object or or the folder where the test step should be added and then you need to right click on the folder and then select search and add test steps and then type in the search characters that you would like to add the module and once you find the desired module so you will be clicking on arrows keys to select and then press enter so this is the second way of adding test steps by using modules okay so now let us add test steps for the entire scenario which we would like to automate what is our system under test scenario that would we would like to automate is first log into the web shop once you log into the web shop click on apparel and shoes and then select blue jeans once you select the blue jeans we are going to add the blue jeans to the cart and then go to shopping cart and then click on i agree click on checkout and then we are going to start the checkout process where i'll be selecting the billing address and then i'll be selecting the shipping address and we need to select the shipping method as ground 
and then you need to select the payment method as credit card once you select the payment method as credit card i'm going to provide the credit card details here right and then once you provide the credit card details click on continue so probably it's giving me error but anyway so i'm going to show you and then we are once we are once we enter the valid credit card details and then it will come to a uh, basically the confirmation confirm order so let me show you without adding the credit card okay so continue and then continue so i'm going to select uh, the payment method as credit card but for now i'm going to show you cash and delivery okay and then click on again payment information continue and then we are going to validate whether the price whatever the price it is showing it is properly the expected price is showing for us or not and then we'll click on confirm so and then you will get a confirmation order number so we are going to validate this and then click on continue so once you click on continue we are going to log out okay and then close the application so that's what we are going to perform right so now that entire process we would like to automate so i'm going to show you how to add test steps for an entire this scenario okay so earlier what we did we added a test step to open a browser and then immediately close the browser correct so now let me add the rest of the steps also steps by using modules okay so what we are going to do first so i'm going to search for the top menu okay and then i'm going to drag the top menu here in precondition okay once you enter your url i need to select what basically i need to navigate to the login page right so that's why i'm going to rename this as navigate to login page okay that is done and then i need to select a login page drag and drop same login page into precondition test case folder and now you need rename this particular step as login okay done so under precondition we have three test steps opening the url navigate to login page and we are going to login login and then now you have to go to products module under products module you have product control tab correct so let me just drag and drop the product control tab this time to order product folder okay so this is my test case folder here what i am doing i am basically navigating to apparel and shoe okay so let me rename this test steps as navigate to apparel and shoes okay done once i navigate to apparel and shoe and i need to select the blue jeans correct for that let me drag and drop my apparel and shoe selection okay so this one this module i'm going to drag and drop apparel and shoe selection module to form a test step to form a test step navigate to blue jeans okay so what i am doing now navigate to blue jeans so we click on blue jeans right so i clicked on blue jeans now okay to click on blue jeans i am forming a test step and then now under product category you have a blue jeans right so this one i am going to drag and drop in the same order product and then rename this as order blue jeans so order blue jeans done now so we are once we 
order blue jeans, we will start the checkout process. Correct? So for that, we will be shifting to the next folder. And now I'm going to add the test step. Again, top menu. Okay. Let me add again top menu so that I can rename this to navigate to shopping cart. Correct? So the navigate shopping cart also available in top menu only. Okay. Navigate to shopping cart. Now I'm going to drag and drop the shopping cart now. Okay. Where is my shopping cart here under checkout process? I see that there is a module called shopping cart. Okay. I need to drag and drop here and then I'm going to rename this as shopping cart procedures. Okay. And now let me go back to so let me go to the next folder checkout process. Now we are going to provide the shipping address and then we need to provide um, uh, your billing address, right? So for that, I'm, I'll be going to the checkout process. So now I need to add the test steps that are involved in checkout process, correct? For that, in the checkout process, I have a module called billing address, right? Drag and drop billing address here and then I'm going to rename this as billing address continue because I'm clicking on bill, under billing address I'm clicking on continue correct and then continue and then you need to again go to shipping address drag that module and drop here to form a test step and then again shipping address continue because under shipping address, I'm going to click on continue once I select the shipping address. And then I need to drag and drop my shipping method because I have to select the shipping method as ground. Correct. So here I'm going to rename this as shipping method ground. And then I will be clicking on, sorry, I need a payment method, right? So now I will be dragging the payment method module and drop here in the checkout process and rename this as payment method credit card because I'm going to select it as a credit card. Okay. And now I need to drag and drop my payment information credit card because I will be providing the credit card details, right? Again, onto the checkout process itself. And then you make this as payment information payment method credit card so you can just payment information credit card basically we are providing the payment information of the credit card here okay done so now after this what we do generally we verify see once you provide the payment method so we are going to confirm the order correct so now i will be going to the next folder structure where verify the price so here i need to drag and drop my confirm order module to form a test step. So let me rename the test step as verification of prices. Done. Now let's go to confirmation folder structure. Under confirmation, I'm going to again drag and drop the same confirm order, but this time I'll be, I'm going to click on confirm order. Okay. So that's why con, I'm going to rename this as confirm order. So here in the previous section, what we are doing, we are actually verifying the prices. So once we verify the prices and the confirmation and I'm confirming the order, right? And then now after you click on confirm order, you will get a success message, right? So again, I'm going to drag and drop my order successful. Okay. So without, I mean, this time what I'm going to do instead of dragging and drop from the modules, I want to use add test. Okay. 
let me click on add test step and then I want to actually search for order successful okay so here I'm gonna select this order successful and then I'll make I'm gonna rename this as verify order success so this is another method to add the test right as I uh, as I explained you earlier now let me go back to post condition here we already added closed web shop but before we close web shop what we do once the order is confirmed we click on continue and then you have to click on logout correct so for that I will be again right click on this click on add test step and then you again I'm gonna add the same module called order successful but this time I'm gonna rename this as order successful but continue because I'm just clicking on continue on the same page right that's it and then again I need to right click on the same folder I'm gonna add another step to log out okay for that again I will be calling the top menu module right in the top menu I will have the log out here so now let me rename this as log out okay so basically now you have to arrange the test steps in a chron chronological order right because once you click on continue and then you are going to click on logout and then you will be closing the web shop so I'm moving it to last step okay so I'm going to close the web shop so now if you see here we have completed adding test steps for entire flow correct the entire scenario that you would like to automate okay see these are all the test steps I have added for the scenario which I would like to add okay so your tree structure should be should look like this so if you practice the same session you can practice and make sure the entire structure test steps and test case structure should look like this okay so here we have added this test steps and then it's very simple to automate this entire scenario so in the next session i'm going to show you how to add the values basically how can we steer the application by adding the test steps values in the test steps whatever we added just now simple okay so we almost completed our test case automation of this entire scenario okay we added test steps so in the next session which is lesson 6 I'm going to explain you how to add the test steps values so that we can complete our entire test case automation okay so please do subscribe to my channel and click on bell icon so that you will receive the notification for the next sessions Thank you. Thank you all.